and nice and strong. Well, the rigging is all set. One of the most amazing things that our master builders can accomplish is that when they build these larger than life models, they are not using any special pieces. It's basically the exact same things that any child would find in their home collection. And that's the point, you know, a child will come out and see this, will they build a 40 foot model in their backyard? No, of course not. But the idea is that they might be inspired to build something they've never tried before. And that's why we do what we're doing. In much the same way that kids love to build and rebuild and get better and better at their building ability, our master builders are always challenging themselves to try and top the last model they created. So when they looked at the sheer size of the idea of this model, the structural challenges that it involved, they couldn't resist the challenge. We had an international team of builders and designers and engineers and structural experts and mechanics all working together over the course of a year to bring this crazy idea to reality. Both Lego and Star Wars have become so ingrained in pop culture and together can really amuse and engage just about anyone. So we wanted to create this larger than life moment to really inspire imaginations around the world. One of the best things about Lego and Star Wars together is that it appeals to so many different generations. You know, we have adults who tell us that it's their favorite childhood toy and their favorite movie put together and it's awesome. And then we also hear so many kids are getting interested in Star Wars because of Lego building and because of Lego Star Wars. So it's catering to everybody and it's engaging everyone. After three days in New York City's Times Square, the model is charting a course for a summer landing at Legoland California Resort, where it will stay for the remainder of the year. Everything that we use is a stock standard Lego piece. Uh, so in theory, if a child did have 5.3 million bricks, they could uh, build their own X-Wing in their own backyard. Wow, this, this is really the, the largest thing I've ever seen built out of Lego bricks. Um, over my 18 years, I've touched millions of bricks in my lifetime, but, but, but to see this many together in one place, constructed at one time, it's, it's overwhelming. Well, here is our, our retail set, our current set that we have in the stores. Uh, this is our X-Wing fighter, and our large-scale model has all the fun, uh, features of the small one. We have our, our wheel in the back that opens the wings. You can see that back there, uh, R2 up on top, of course. We have our proton torpedoes. Everything that you see on this small one is included up in the, the giant model. There was a team of about 32 builders and uh, a bunch of designers and engineers that all uh, pulled together to, to construct the giant size X-Wing. Where the real magic happened was in the engineering to figure out how it has to break down and put in shipping containers to get uh, and uh, you know put it on a boat and bring it overseas here to uh, the U.S. We design it virtually, of course, but uh, then we pass it off to our model building team, and they're able to uh, to view a section at a time and uh, see the blueprints for it, uh, layer by layer. They put the bricks down, and uh, before you know it, the, the form starts to come together. <laughs> 